Hey guys, and welcome back to Custard Cubes. It's Lucy here, and I'm really sorry about the quality of the video, but I don't have a good camera at the moment, but I will be getting one, so stay tuned for that. Also, a quick disclaimer, I look like shit because I just walked home in the rain. <laughs> Hit my life. Today's video is about what kind of music I listen to, and if you're watching this and you know me personally, and you'll know that I fucking love music, like it's my passion. So I'm gonna go through some of the CDs I have. So here is my CD rack with just a few of my CDs in. Uh, not all of them are in here, but these are the ones that I bought myself and that I want on display. So the first CD I have is Panic at the Disco and it is the latest album of theirs, apart from the one that's coming up in January, it's Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, and I love this album, I know every word on it, which is really sad, but I really love this album, it's great, it's poppy rock, so it's not heavy or anything like that, it's just really good feel good music and some more emotional tracks on there, so if you like all genres of music, you probably like this. The next thing I'm going to have of course, every emo has this in their collection. It's like on the covers, the Black Parade. And if you've never heard this album or song from this album, you would miss it because Brandon Coleman are amazing. Um, I know there's seen as stereotypical and trashy emo music, but if you really listen to the lyrics, they're amazing and so well written. I would definitely recommend the song Mama or Sleep on this album because they're really emotional and sadly they're now bro broken up in 2013 which kind of ruined my black little heart. I have all the other Michael McCall Romance albums but there's no point in showing you those. But I do have solo albums from both Gerard the lead singer and Frank Iowa the guitarist from his Muse, The Resistance. Muse are a classic band, like they're amazing, they do a mixture of heavy rock and electronic music, so this is like a staple Muse album. Because... Um, I actually lost the cover for this, but it's The Smiths, The Queen is Dead, which everyone's probably heard this album, if not knows who The Smiths and Morrissey are, and yes. Um, they're amazing. Uh, I don't really know what to say about them, but they're like a Britpop band. The next album I have is Blink 182, or 182, how would you like to say it? Greatest Hits album, because they have quite a lot of albums, so I couldn't afford to buy them all. And I love Blink 182 because they're like classic pop punk. Next album I'm going to show you is Nevermind by Nirvana, and I know a lot of people think, oh, Nirvana. You're a basic white girl, you don't know any of the songs except Smells Like Teen Spirit, but no, I do like a lot of the Nirvana stuff. Basically, my favourite song by them is Lithium. And yeah, I feel this is an essential album in everyone's collection. But I feel like Nirvana are overrated, like, people praise them too highly. So, just in my opinion, but I would give it a listen just to see if you like it, but it is a good album. I have these four of my albums, and I have Save Rock and Roll, which is um, the one before their latest album. I have From Under the Cork Tree and I Believe It's Never Die. They're all really good albums. I like all of these three. I'd say Save Rock and Roll is a bit more poppy. Under, from Under the Cork Tree is like their original roots, and this is just all of their stuff. Like. But mainly the older stuff. And I love Fall Out Boy, I've seen them live. They're one of my favourite bands and I have a lot of their merch. So. The next album is Limp Biscuit, and this is the greatest hits album. So it has a song such as Break Store, Take a Look Around, My Generation, Rolling. All pretty famous songs if you're into like the new metal scene. And I have some Limp Biscuit merch, I've seen them live, they were amazing, they're quite a heavy band, but nonetheless I love them. They have Florentine Machine Lungs, 
and my love ones in the machine. I got this for like my ninth birthday, I think. And it's amazing because she does like soft, loud, and upbeat songs, such as on this album there, the dog days are over, you've got the love, rabbit heart, all like indie pop. I don't know if it's great, but it's like indie music. A lot of harp in there as well. But she's really talented and I really want to see her like it's Rage Against the Machine and this is the debut album, the self-titled one. Well, it's not the debut, it's a self-titled album which includes all their lower songs such as Killing in the Name, On the Track, Bullet in the Head. All these great hits. And I love them so much, they're like a new metal, similar to Limp Biscuit vibe. It's very angry music as well, so when you're having a bad day I like to listen to this and just be like <laughs> so guys, that was just a quick taste, like, look of what music I like. I have a lot of other bands I love as well, but I'll get into that in a another video. But I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my CDs and just having a feel of what I like. And I will see you in the vlog on Saturday, and I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment. See you next week. Next week? Saturday. <laughs> I have such a bad memory.